to the Muslim uh, Public Affairs Council uh, and to Sue Obedi in the Hollywood Bureau for your support during the entire season uh, of our show. Uh, I have to be honest, while I am so grateful for this acknowledgement on behalf of the producers of Counterpart, I wish for a time when recognition like this were not necessary. That when a television show decides to include a strong black woman of Muslim faith in its cast of characters, it's not something that merits praise. It's just called good storytelling, and we leave it at that. <laughs> Counterpart is a story about two parallel universes, uh, and as you can see, by the way, that was brilliant, whoever cut that together. Uh, we really love that. Um, and it's focused on the idea of the other, what it means to look at ourselves across an arbitrary line that divides us and to focus only on the ways that make us different. When we make people into our other, we deny them their own truth, their own opinions, their own contradictions, and most importantly, we deny them a chance to speak for themselves. So I'd like to talk briefly about how Naya came to be. Uh, as a means of acknowledging all the voices who aren't me, uh, who helped bring her to life. Uh, we wanted to introduce a strong woman into an antiquated world not historically occupied by women of her color or her faith. For me personally, it was a scary proposition. A man of my color putting words into her mouth from experiences that I could not possibly share. I think I speak for a lot of men who look like me when I say that often we feel it's just too difficult to endeavor on. Uh, but here's the thing, uh, it was like the easiest writing I have ever had to do because all I had to do was shut up uh, and listen. Uh, I listened to Aaron Levy, our head writer who's here today uh, and who encouraged this deep research character study from the first introduction of Naya's character, which you saw up there, which Aaron wrote. Uh, then there was our incredible writer's room, especially the women and people of color who could lend their varying experiences to Naya's. Gianna, you're here too. Megan Wong, Marissa Melnick, Justin Britt Gibson, Tom Pabst, uh, and our writer's assistant, uh, Marissa Lee, who spoke to the black Muslims in her own personal life and wrote the character bio that we use throughout this season. And then we have Betty Gabriel, who's really right over my shoulder, hi. Uh, Betty. You did not just nod quietly when we asked you to play this role. You created this role from the ground up in all of her contradictory humanity, a woman enhanced by her faith and her family and not defined by it. You introduce us to Sue and the Hollywood Bureau uh, with the support of our producer, Phil Barnett. Uh, you worked with Sue on every line of dialogue, every scene, every revision, and believe me, there were many, many revisions with the way we work. <laughs> Uh, you challenged me that our goal here wasn't just to get Naya and Naya's faith right. We didn't want to just get her right. We wanted to use her truth to elevate our story and our world, which would not have been possible uh, without the MPAC. Uh, Sue, who is somewhere listening, uh, you did the most incredible thing for this television show. You gave yourself to it. I hear your words in Naya's mouth every time she tries to reconcile the tenets of her faith in a science fiction world. I see the way you grappled with this complex story with intelligence and careful conviction. When Naya prays to the God who created a Mecca in an alternate world that she never got to visit, that's your identity speaking. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for sharing, for being as open and forceful and insistent that we challenge ourselves in order to portray this character truthfully and honestly. Thank you. And and thank you again to everyone here who's affiliated with the Muslim Public Affairs Council for working so hard to help writers like us tell these stories. In the future, I truly cannot wait to see more Nayas and more Muslim characters both like and unlike her not the ones we see in the typical movies and television today conjured from our laziest typecast, but the ones who feel like the Muslims I have been privileged to know in my personal life, people who are afforded the chance to speak for themselves. Thank you for fighting this fight, and thank you for helping us to listen. I was pretty nervous to play this role. I was nervous about playing opposite J.K. Simmons. I was nervous about having more than 10 lines. <laughs> Um, and I was also nervous that I would be playing a Muslim woman. I'll be honest, 
I had a lot of preconceived notions on what a Muslim woman is, so I, I had a lot of questions. Do I wear the hijab? Did I convert? Am I a first-generation Muslim? Am I a nation of Islam Muslim who uh, prays in Arabic? I have to learn Arabic? I have to learn Arabic. Yep, says right there in episode one, Naya Temple is in the middle of her sujood prayer ritual. It is always of the utmost importance that I be as truthful as possible with whoever I'm playing. I love to become a conduit for their story to flow through, so I knew I had my work cut out for me and wasn't sure where to begin. And luckily, this is one of the many reasons the creative team of Counterpart is so amazing. They did a lot of the work for me, as Justin said, particularly uh, Marissa Lee, who interviewed numerous African-American Muslim women, uh, one of whom, Oba Muhammad, hello, <laughs> uh, introduced me to Impact. And after this introduction was made, I was invited to a Quran class. I showed up to find no one wearing a hijab. <laughs> There was a Christian, <laughs> shout out to Lori, and there was someone who had recently converted, and she's, she was a white woman. Um, her name is Rebecca, and <laughs> I, I don't know, I was just so surprised and, and a bit embarrassed at how much I was lacking in awareness, um, but I also don't think I'm alone, so I definitely look forward to more surprising stories being told stories that help us see ourselves in each other. I am so grateful for your support, MPAC. You were vital in this process. Thank you so much for welcoming me, welcoming me into your community, uh, feeding me food, <laughs> holding my hand on set. Shout out to Raima and Sue, and uh, teaching me the divine joys of praying in Arabic. Thank you. Thank you.